I will tell you an incident that happened to me and my mother-in-law on New Year's Eve. My girlfriend and I dated for four years and got married a year ago. We have been living together for six months now. I got to know her and her mom and realized I loved them both. My mother-in-law's name is Linda. She is 50 years old and divorced her husband 10 years ago. She is short in stature with red, short-cropped hair and charming eyes. I paid particular attention to her charisma despite my wife's presence. Linda's charisma was captivating. When my wife and I visited her home, I noticed her sometimes walking in front of me in her robe, almost dancing. At these moments, she was always smiling, and I didn't know what to do or where to look. One day, it started by chance, in the passage between the kitchen and the room. We met in the hallway, but we didn't move aside in time and ended up squeezing past each other. It was very awkward. One day, Linda asked me to come over and help her hang the curtains. My wife stayed home to take care of business, and I went over to Linda's house. I got a stepladder and set it up in front of the window. She climbed up on it and began buttoning the buttonholes on the curtains. I held the stepladder confidently, keeping an eye on her to make sure she didn't fall. As Linda was hanging the curtains, she lost her balance and the stepladder swayed. She cried out and I quickly picked her up with my strong arms to keep her from falling. Linda finished hanging the curtains and thanked me for my help and for saving her. There were many similar moments after that, but none of them were followed up on. On New Year's Eve, we decided to celebrate it at our house, the three of us, my wife, Linda, and me. I prepared in advance, stocked up on alcohol in any quantity. On December 31, my wife was busy preparing treats for the table when Linda arrived. She had taken off her sheepskin coat and looked beautiful. I decided it was time to sit down at the table. We got everything ready and finally sat down at the table. My wife and Linda started drinking martinis and I started drinking cognac. By midnight, they had finished two bottles and were a little tipsy. As the chimes struck, they each had a glass of champagne and we continued to watch TV eat, drink, and talk. By 1, 0 A, M, the martini bottle was empty and my wife fell asleep at the table. I carried her into the bedroom and put her to bed. Linda and I, being the stronger of the two, continued our little celebration. Perhaps we both just wanted to be alone. After a while, Linda got even more drunk and I decided it was time for her to go to bed too. I took her to another bedroom where everything was prepared for her. When we reached the bedroom, Linda stumbled out and hugged me tightly. She said, son-in-law, I'm not letting you go now and smiled at me. I realized what she meant and smiled back. I thought, this is what New Year's Eve is all about. That New Year's Eve night was dizzying. I dreaded waking up first thing in the morning. My wife got up, went to wash up and make coffee. Linda got up next and then I joined them in the kitchen. They were sitting and talking about something. I wished them a good morning, acting as if nothing had happened, and Linda agreed, saying, This morning is the most wonderful morning I've had in a long time. 